Dude. Hello guys, so tonight I went to Target and I got some legendary bin finds. So we're gonna go from worst to best. So this wor so the worst find is this iPod Touch first generation, 8 gigabyte. It's engraved and there's a phone number that I'm covering up. But yeah, iPod Touch Touch first gen 8 gigabyte on iOS 2.3.5. I reset it so that's why it's on the connect to iTunes screen, but it does fully work. I just haven't bothered activating it yet since I don't really care for stuff this old. Next we got this iPhone 4 8 gigabyte black GSM on 7.1.2. It was passcode locked but didn't have an iCloud. I got these devices from Mom's Organic Market and Target so I'll go over where I got them from. So I got the iPod from Mom's Organic Market and this one from Mom's Organic Market too. They have a phone bin that's the secure the call phone bin where there's a pipe and you can't really get anything out of it. But somebody threw a shit ton of phones inside of the tablets bin that you can't easily get stuff out of. So yeah, that's how I got the phones out of Mom's Organic Market. But yeah, you can see it's an 8 gigabyte 7.1.2 on AT&T. It is a GSM iPhone 4, which is nice because I've been looking for one of those for my collection. This is an iPhone 4S. This is one of the iPhones I found at Target. It shows absolutely no signs of life, and I obviously don't know if it's FMI on or not. It's white. Still needed a 4S for my collection to display. This one I got from Target as well. It is an iPhone 5. I think it's a 16 gigabyte um, in silver. Now, the reason why the screen is black is because I took the screen off of this and put it on my black iPhone 5 that's on iOS 6 because, if you don't know... Somehow the LCD on this one cracked, and I really wanted to replace it. I did find black iPhone 5s, but I'll get into why I didn't take the screen off of those. But, as you know, we're, obviously I would not take a screen off of a perfectly functioning iPhone. Actually, I probably would have. But this is iCloud locked. Or it's FMI on, I haven't even reset it yet. I haven't even tested it yet fully. I just know that it's FMI on, and it's not worth my time. Oh, and it's in lost mode. Now this iPhone 5 I got from Mom's Organic Market. It is in literally mint condition. One second. Sorry, I had to stop the video to grab something. It's a phone charger for my phone. But now I'm going to finish showing this off. So this is an iPhone 5. I got this one from the Mom's bin. And if you guys... Oh, the battery died. It is a 16 gigabyte in Slate iOS 9.2, running, all, it's on AT&T. It is in the literal mint condition besides that tiny little scratch. Other than that, this is mint. And I was going to take the screen off of either of these two. I wasn't going to take the screen off of this one because it's mint. But yeah. Because I want to preserve that and keep it in mint condition. Now we have this other iPhone 5. The battery is dead right now. It's the same as this one except it has a few problems. So the reason why I didn't take the screen off of this one is while this screen fully works, it's not the bat it's popping out and it's not the battery I checked. And it's separating from the backlight, but the LCD still works. I just didn't think that this would be suitable for a rare iPhone. And this iPhone 5 is in much worse condition. I'll keep both of them though cuz I do like iPhone 5s. I got that one from the Mom's bin too. And if you don't know what Mom's Organic Market is, it's kind of like Whole Foods and they um they sell like crap. They sell like organic shit, of course, and they don't really have many. Like they're only in a few states. Um, I have one in my state, but it does not have a bin because it's in the middle of the city. It does not have a bin, so I go to the one that's closest. 
I go to another decently close one that's in the next state over. I don't go there all the time. This will probably be the last time I go there because the employees really don't like me and I get caught almost every time I go there. I'm very surprised I didn't get caught this time. I've only ever been there three times. Let's get back into it. This one I found at Target. It is an iPhone 5C, 16 gigabyte on iOS 9.1. It's on T-Mobile, so it can probably be unlocked if I contact them. But yeah, blue iPhone 5C, fully working. Got this one from Target. Now this starts to get sad. Actually, every single iPhone from here is FMI on. This one I found at Target. It is an iPhone 5S. The most disappointing part is that it's on iOS 8. And it's not only iCloud locked, but it's passcode locked too. There is no hope in getting this one unlocked. This one is in a lost mode as well, with a cracked screen too, and cracked back glass. There is this iPhone 6 on iOS 10. It's on. And I'm going to cover... Oh, well, you guys can probably see the email. Just don't spam this person. It is iCloud 798 days ago. This is um, iCloud locked. And on iOS 10, which sucks. I mean, I guess the iOS 10 thing is fine because it doesn't really make it too rare. It's not like a success or anything. But yeah, silver iPhone 6 oh, on iOS 10. I caught him passcode locked, unfortunately. Now this one I'm keeping literally just for the walls. This is an iPhone 6 Plus. Oh, I got the 6 at Target. And I got the 5S at Target and the 5C at Target. This is an iPhone 6 Plus in space gray with a decent screen. Look at the back. I mean, seriously, what the hell happened to this? This is iCloud locked and doesn't even boot up. I have no clue how many gigs it is. The battery was bloated, so I removed it. It's honestly funny how messed up this is. That's why I'm keeping it, because it's so scratched. I mean, like, how do you achieve this? I've seen some pretty bad phones. I've seen... I had an iPhone 6 Plus, as I showed in that $25 iPhone 6 Plus video, that was completely bent and destroyed. And that wasn't even as bad as this. Like, did this person never hear of a case... Because I had a screen protector. And I found that one at Target. I just think it's funny. This one I found with that one at Target is also FMI on. Um, the funniest part about this is that the lock screen wallpaper is... It says it's locked, stupid. Um, the screen is delaminating and everything. It's a passcode and I call it locked. I'll keep them for parts. Next up, we have an iPhone 7 Gold. I found this one at Target. Home button is missing because I was doing a screen swap. I'll get into it in a minute. This is FMI on, 32 gigabytes, with a passcode lock. This is an iPhone 7. I found this one at Mom's. It is a 128 gigabyte in silver. FMI off. Very unfortunately, though, um, this screen was on this one because it had touch issues. Or this screen was on this one, and I swapped it because it had touch issues. This screen worked fine with the gold one, despite it being cracked. Well, unfortunately, this has a motherboard problem where it gives it touch issues, and I can't fully set the phone up because of those issues. So it's very unfortunate. I tried disconnecting and reconnecting the screen, doing a bunch of other stuff. It is just completely unfixable and it's very unfortunate especially because it's a 128 gig fmi off and the best find is this google pixel 2 the batteries that i'll plug it in for a second it is a google pixel 2 64 gigabyte black in mint condition and i got this one from the mom's bin honestly one of my best finds Oh, there we go. Um, I have not fully set it up. And I actually do have another Google Pixel 2. I didn't find it at Target, though. I just bought it on eBay. Kind of blue-colored one. So now I have two Google Pixel 2s in my collection. Battery is very bad on this, though. It died at, like, 30%. But yeah, it's a fully working Pixel 2. It was reset when I got it. No Google Lock or anything. And it came... In this purple case, which I actually kind of like. I don't know why. 
I'll probably keep it on there just because it'll stay in good condition. And the gold iPhone 7 came on this. Came in this spec case. And someone engraved a smiley face in it. But yeah, those are my finds from tonight. Legendary finds. Found 14 phones and almost all of them are iPhones. Sucks that a lot of the iPhones are FMI off or FMI on. And this one has a motherboard problem. But... I did find a mint Google Pixel 2 and a mint iPhone 5. I really like this iPhone 5. I also want to show you guys something that I think is kind of cool. So you guys remember that iPhone 4 I downgraded? Well, this is what I did to it. I had an iPhone 4S back laying around, and since I didn't want to mess up the white one that was on here that was mint, I decided to put it on here. Don't mind the double-sided tape. It's until I find a way to adhere this back glass down to this piece. I managed to do this without scratching off the Apple logo or iPhone text. I also jailbroke the shit out of it. It is an 8 gigabyte, but I did not find this. Actually, I found this at Target a while ago. Yeah, I just wanted to flex that I jailbroke it and clear modded it. So, yeah. But that's it for those. Um, I want to try something quickly. Does the control center bounce? It does. I watched a video where someone was talking about how they used to do that all day. And watch it like bounce and everything. It's kind of cool. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe. And I will see you guys later. Hopefully with some more legendary bin finds. As it is after the Christmas season.